and to be a pretty good night, a little chilly. Oh, I think it'll uh, stay away. I'm, clouds are getting higher. I'm not really worrying that much about them. This is good football weather, though. This is better than that 90 degree stuff we've been. Oh, no joke. Usually it don't move in this quick, though. <laughs> I've seen been to games in mid-October where I was in shorts and a t-shirt and dying. Oh, yeah. All right, we're looking for the coin toss. There it goes. Captains for Henrietta tonight. Parker, number 73. Number Deontay 11, Boyles. And number 25, 73 and uh, Boyles, number 11. And number 25, we have Macaluso. I didn't see if uh, Aiden is on the sidelines. No, he is. He's on the sidelines, but he's not dressed out. Uh, he took a heck of a hit last week, and I don't think they're going to let him back playing again today. Probably a good decision. I'm assuming it was a head injury. Oh, yeah. 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 Those can linger for weeks or just best air on the side of caution with that. Thank you, Senator. You bet. So the Knights are uh, getting ready to uh, come back on the field. Well, one thing to look for tonight, Bruce, is probably going to be a lot of slips and falls out there. The field still looks pretty wet. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing a ton of mud out there right at the 40. Yep. And Midfield looks like a disaster from about really Really, from the 30 all the way to midfield looks pretty rough. Yeah. I don't know if they have any, probably don't have any different kind of cleats. I know the colleges and the pros, they have, <laughs> will change their, their cleat length out to deal with this kind of weather, but. You're stuck with the same length yeah. in uh, high school. I don't think we have anything like that. We're not that advanced. No. Well, I'm glad no. to be back tonight, Bruce. I've missed the last couple of weeks due to yeah, circumstances. Yeah, Two weeks ago, I was sick, went home from work early. And then last week I had to work too late because we were short-handed at the store. <laughs> I tell you, this working, I don't know what I thought going back to work. Well, I know what I thought. I had to have a paycheck. Well, that'll teach you. Yeah. Good positive, though. This next week will be one year since I had my knee replacement. So. And you feel a lot better, too, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Getting around a lot better. I've noticed the last month it's really taken a big jump up in my mobility and my flexibility. So. Oh, yeah. And you'd be surprised in another six months, you won't even know. That's you know. what I told you, you know, doctor told me it took about a year, year and a half to get to feeling back to normal. And mm -hmm. I'm right at the year. And like I said, I feel better now than I have in two years. Now I'm fixing to go to a uh, doctor to get some work done on a hip. That's what happens when you get up to my advanced age. Boy, hip, hips are such a common thing to have replaced anymore. That's oh yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to get that serious about it. But. I hope not, but it, you know, I've talked to quite a few people who have had it done, and they said it's actually a lot easier than getting a knee replacement. Yeah. So you got that going for you if you decide to go that way. <laughs> All right, Henrietta's going to be uh, kicking off to the ponies. So we're ready to start a ball game, John. Good deal. Like I said, I'm glad to be back tonight. I've rained most of the way up here, but got just outside of town, and it finally stopped. So. Yeah, I could see some uh, red sky a while ago, and now, of course, sun's already down. We're not going to see any. And there's the kick. Goes a little short. They pick it up about the 43-yard uh, line. That seems to be our strategy this year, kick, kick them short kick and don't let anybody get a return. Yep. It's also gone against us a couple times. Well, eventually somebody's going to mishandle one and we'll recover one. I think it'll right. happen before the year's over. Now that one looks like it's about the 43-yard line. So it's first and 10 for the ponies. Did you bring a jacket, Bruce? Yep. I think I'm about ready to grab mine already, and i got a sweatshirt on. Oh, five wideouts starting out for Kellyville. Oh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. High snap. Pass out to Platt. He's got some running room. Looks like Austin Macaluso finally brought him down after a pretty good game. That, that's a big old load to tackle right there. Oh, yeah. First and 10 for the uh, ponies. So, first play of the game goes for about 10 or 11 yards. 
Ball's going to be spotted on the um, Pony 48 yard line, looks like. We're heading right into the muddy part of the field. Oh, yeah. Some this reason, be interesting. Some reason the clock's not running. I didn't think he got out of bounds. Quarterback's keeping the ball. Look at him coming around the end. He's got some room. Looks like he picks up another first down. Looks like another first down for him. I think they're going to mark it just short, Bruce, from the way the linesman's acting over here. That was Austin McAluso on the tackle, number 25. Kellyville bringing in a whole new bunch of receivers. Yeah, they're marking him back. That's an interesting strategy. Yeah, it is. 37 just shy of the first down. Be second and Looks like second and about a yard. Now they're going to go under huddle this time. Or go under center, I mean, excuse me. Look for big number 45 to get a he's carry right here. He's going right over the middle. Nope. Nope. Inside reverse. Oh, he's number got plenty of room out it. there. He's heading out. Number three on the run for Kelleville on a And he is out of bounds. That's Hayden Hutchins on the run. So at least we kept him out of bounds there. Didn't let him score. Boy, that inside handoff had everybody fooled. All the flow oh, was going did. to the left, and the wing, the wing came back around around the right side, and there was nobody at home. So they're going to spot it about the six-yard line. Not the start we were hoping for. No, no. It'll be a first and go for Kellyville. And we haven't even eaten up a minute for this ball game yet. That's a carry number three. Austin That's that McAlusa. Austin came on the blitz and almost disrupted that handoff. Been nice if he would have. Do we have a roster for them by any chance? Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> That's uh, Hayden Hutchins is the number three for... Um... Okay. Second down and goal. Second and goal. And Henrietta gets into the backfield on that one. That was a messed up play from the get-go. That was a handoff to number 32, Wisby. Colton Wine was crashing through there and got him for a big loss. That's what we needed to see. Bring up the third and goal from... That looks like about the uh, five yard line. Hard to see from where we are. We're marking it about the six. There's a handoff to number three again. And he gets put down. He's gonna bring up um, fourth down. The ball's gonna be about the uh, three yard line. It was James Martin, number 12, on the tackle there. It's a good play. We'll That's give him a, a fourth down short yardage. It'll be a fourth and goal from right about the three. Obviously, yeah. they'll go for it. Oh, heck yeah, you got to. Now, if we can just come through and get break that line and um, sack the quarterback, we'll be in good shape. They got there him. Go. And they held him. Very basic play. Handoff right up the middle. And it didn't go anywhere for the ponies. So he like, takes it over on down. Looks like Colton Wyatt and Tyler Wilson led the charge there for the Knights. That's, that's one of them plays I don't quite understand there. They've been having success going around the ends, and they just did a straight handoff up the middle. I don't. Well, I'm wondering if they thought the Knights wouldn't be uh, looking for that. Well, we had two linebackers right there over the center, so. <laughs> yeah. We had the perfect defense called for that Explain play. That. All right, Henrietta is doing some offense. Up through the middle. He's still going. Not much there. Who's, who's number one, Bruce? We don't have him on the roster. Uh, he was. To, and I, they told to me, and I cannot remember. Is he a new, new player? Yeah. Got Jacob White, number 15, at quarterback for the night. Okay, on the play, second down 10. And they oh, got a fumble. fumble. Loose ball on the play. And looks like the um, ponies may have recovered it. See who comes up with it. Yep, it's the uh, pony ball. So it's going to be uh, first and goal. We're right back where we were. Lovely 
played by possible Tony Blake Pierce, 43. And they're about the one yard line. First and goal. So the Knights are going to have to um, try and interrupt this little drive now. Here's the quarterback, number 12 for Kevin There's that pitch out to number three, and he's nailed. Colton Wine, number Colton 58. Colton Wine comes in and grabs him. He's already made three big plays for the oh, Knights. Oh, big, and that was a big one right there. Didn't take me long to go for the code either. <laughs> <laughs> if Colton hadn't got that. I'm that's afraid there would have been a touchdown. Six because, points. Sometimes that's the difference between a big play and oh yeah, just yeah. One guy be in there making a tackle. Hey, we'll take it too. It's going to push him back to about the five yard line. Second mm -hmm. goal for the ponies. That's twice they've been in this situation. And there he goes, number 21. Dances across for the touchdown. It's number 24, Jeremy Hicks on the touchdown. Pretty much untouched over the left side there. I had to ask him about the defense after stopping him to go right back and try to stop him again. Right. So they're going to go for the uh, extra point. They're going to kick the extra point, number 25, Hector Garcia. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Dang. That's a good kick for a high school kid. Oh, yeah. Well, we've seen some good kickers um, already this year. You don't see high school kickers usually kick it through that easily and that far, especially at two-way. No. So ponies go up uh, seven zip. And we got 8 minutes, 17 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Jordan Hart and Austin McAloose will be back to receive for the Knights. And we are broadcasting from the stands tonight, so it's going to be a lot of noise. You may have more time hearing us. Better than walking up all them stairs over is what Bruce said. I notice I see... Um, Bear over here on the sidelines instead of back here in the backfield. Here goes the kick. And low sliding across the mud. Hart takes it. And gets out about the uh, 25 yard line. Number 25, Austin Macaluso on the return there. Was that Macaluso? Yeah, it was Macaluso. I know you angle up here. Angle for me was bad. So that, okay, Macaluso carry? Yes. Henrietta's um, second time to be on offense. Going four wide outs, it's time for the Knights with a single back. First and ten for Henrietta. Back to pass. Nice stone pitch, that's number five, Logan Whitlock. And that's good for, um, makes it second, about five. It's a good solid first down play. Oh yeah. If you keep that motion going, we'll be all right. Tucky here is going with three wide outs to the top of the screen, one down here at the bottom. There's a the handoff. And he's got some room. Turn on, Jordan. And he's brought down on the um, Kellyville 20-yard line. Good move by uh, Jordan. I see no flags down there. That's good for us. That was at least a 50-yard run, Bruce. You I think. bet. As Jordan Hart there, that line opened up like the Red Sea party. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a problem because I got a uh, light pole right straight in the <laughs> middle of the uh, You want me to get up here and cut quarter. that thing down real quick? I've already got out and thought about the chainsaw. There's a handoff. Nice game by Austin McAloose. So they're going to be close to the first down. Might come up a couple yards short, it looks like. I think we're going to be. Um, they only made about five yards. Oh, he just missed. That. I thought, man, that's hard to tell from it. I thought he got seven or eight on that. He got about four. Yeah. Going to bring up a second and six, maybe five for the Knights. Okay, got a good drive still going here with that the pole again. Second time we've had the ball. 
So we're going to have to let these guys come out around the pole for see what happens. Second down on five. Nice carry by Hart, going to be close to the first down. I got a feeling that is going to be a first yep. down. First and goal for the Knights. No. Nope. Yeah, first and goal. Looks like we're right on the 10, Bruce. That's, that's number 11, Dylan Pickering. We'd almost be better being on the 12 or 13. <laughs> yeah, I wish we were. On the carry, number 21 for the Knights. All right, here, here comes Henrietta. Macaluso. Powering it through. See what they give him on that one. I don't think he got a whole lot there. No, he may have got a yard on that. Nope, they're not going to give him anything. Brings up second down. Yeah, it looks like he got it. They're going to mark it right at the line of scrimmage for the most part. Still going to be second and goal here for the Knights from the 10. Good drive. We need to come away with six here, obviously. Another There's handoff. a handoff, and they're ready for him on that one. They were not going to let him go anywhere. 71 on the stop. Benazares for Kellyville. So we'll bring up third and goal from 10. Probably going to have to throw it here. Yep. Third down at 10. Looks like we're going to bunch everybody in tight on this. Right, Got three down. receivers. There's oh, a nice throw. Oh, nice catch. And catch for Henrietta. Touchdown. Number three, Daniel Bear with a nice catch there. That's where we wanted it. Thought he'd overthrown him a little bit, but he made a nice Oh, adjustment. that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Hey, you know what? I bet you can show that on instant replay, too. I'm going to see if I got it. Nope. I lied to you, folks. Sorry about that. And the Knights. Extra right point again. was good, I believe. They that get was the going. extra point. No, I don't know who that was kicking. I can't. I don't know either, but uh, we're now tied back up. Yeah, Knights took Jordan that one Hart. in, and um, what? Five plays? Six? Five or six, seven. I can't count that high. You know that. Well, take your shoes off. Nobody wants that. I'm not sure who kicked. I thought it was Jordan five Hart. Minutes, it was 20 something. It looked like. But. <laughs> I got a feeling by the time the game's over, it's going to be hard to read their numbers because they're going to be so muddy. Well, I'm waiting for it, especially out there right at the uh, 40. So the Knights get to kick off. That number 81 going to be kicking off this time for the Knights. That is Jacob Collette. That may have been Jacob that kicked the extra point. I don't know. It could have been. It probably was. Because I thought it was 21, and I don't think it was Jordan, so it must have been 81. We'll give Jacob Collette the extra point there. <laughs> And there's the kick, goes deep. They take it about the 25. And he's still moving. Gets up about the 45-yard uh, line, looks like. Number 50, Lance Gouge, and number 61, Tyler Wilson, combined to bring him down. About a 20-yard run back, 15 yards, probably. Let's go. There we go, going to be first and 10 for the ponies. Looks like we're going to be starting out right at their 44-yard line. Got just this, a little over five minutes here to go. Keep in mind, this is a district game. There's the quarterback, number 12. Good job, number, that number three again. Looks like we got him defense. just shy of the midfield mark. Uh, it's going to be second down and about six. It's 58 Wine and 61 Wilson again on the tackles. Got about five, four on that. It's second and six for the ponies. Third drive of the night for Kellyville. There's a 
pitch out. He gets the first down, it looks like. Yep. Clock 61 again, Wilson on the tackle, and number one, our mystery guy. And that is good for our first down, Kellyville. <laughs> so first down for the ponies again. They're over in Henrietta territory by about two foot. Look at about the 44. Swiftly moving first quarter. It is. All right. There's a the handoff. Number 25. And he's brought down number three and number 15. Big number 45, William Peterson on the carry. That's a load to tackle right there. You bet. They've got him listed at 240, but I think he's a little bigger than that. <laughs> he's a hoss. And he gets all that weight moving. That's going to be hard to stop. Play clock running at 19 seconds. 331 left to go in this uh, first quarter. There goes the back to number three again. Going to be short gain on that. Probably about uh, two yards. Good play by Levin. Jeremiah Boyles there on the corner. Yeah, you know, I see number 73 out there, Deontay Parker. He's already filthy, Colton Wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is one of them games where they truly got the Mud Hens nickname. Yeah, I'd like to go back to it. Me Sorry too. about that, folks. Me too. That's all right. I'm a hand. Me too. <laughs> and looks like we got pulled off. That was Parker, number 73, who jumped off sides yeah. there. Back went in motion, he got a little bit excited. Oh, it's, huh? Caps on Henrietta. <laughs> but the PA announcer said illegal motion on Henrietta at first. That's what made me chuckle. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, exactly. That's, then he corrected it to offsides. So it's going to be second and about two and a half, three yards for Kellyville here. Second down three after the five yard penalty. Looks like they're on about the 22. And there's a the pass. Oh, it's intercepted. Intercepted by Henrietta. Oh, and we have a little extra curricular on the sidelines over there. That was Jacob White on the interception there off tip. Oh, it was pretty. They tried to cross us up there, Bruce. We sent blitzers up the middle and they had a pass play call, but it wasn't a well-thrown ball. It bounced off their receiver and right to Jacob. Referees are gonna huddle and figure out what to call here. Looks like it's gonna be a 15-yard penalty against Kellyville. That's Personal always foul. good. We'll bring the ball out to the 37-yard line for the Knights. And here's that uh, little pass uh, interception by Henrietta. So pretty. He scrambles out. Okay, we're back to the regular action. The handoff for no gain there. Nothing at all. We get replays in, do we? As <laughs> Jordan Hart on the carry there. No gain for oh, yeah. the Knights. snap. Uh, that one's going to come back more than likely. It's a great block by Daniel Bear over here on our corner, but that's probably going to be a holder against the Knights here. Yeah, the referee's already walking it back. They threw it right in the middle of the scrum. That's almost always offensive holding. And, and that that's is, not what Henrietta needed. Yep, and that is the call. So that's going to be up second and 15. Uh, more like 20. 20, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's a spot foul, but yeah, it is a spot foul. So 
That's going to put the ball down on about the 26 yard line. Wiped out a nice game by Macaluso, and the sad part about it is the hold really didn't even affect the play. No. Second down 20 for the Knights. And there's times they really don't need to call that if it's not affecting the play. Oh, we got some opening there. Come on, Jordan. Nice gain. It's going to make it a third and about three for the Knights. That's a pickup of 17 on the play. Our patented little screen pass in the middle. You know, we use that with such effect all year long. Oh, it's been there all year. Sometimes yeah. all we need is one block, and it's going to be a big gain. Mm -hmm. We got the block that time. We'll bring up third and about three for the Knights. Clock's ticking down under a minute here to go in the first quarter. Third down three. Looked like the center snapped that one a little early. He wasn't quite ready for that. No. That was a busted play. That's why Jacob ended up carrying it. So here we are at fourth down. Just shy of the 45 yard line. And it looks like we're going to punt. Looks like Boyle's in to punt for the Knights. It'll be the last play of the quarter unless we have a penalty of some sort. Looks like 11 back to punt. And he gets a good boot off. Hit him. Oh, he did. It did. Good job by number three, Daniel, Daniel Bear. Daniel Bear, Bear come in on that. That's two big plays he's made so far. I actually called that. I thought it was going to drop right on his head for a minute. I said hit him. And it did. I hate to be a homer, but. This but you know, he was trying to jump over it, yeah. and his feet were right there on it. He just couldn't do anything. On a side note, though, I hate that play because that, that's just a fluke play. I saw it happen in a, I believe it was a college or an NFL game a week or two ago. Same exact thing. Well, I hate it if it's someone else, but if yeah. it's us, I love it. And that, that one's going to come back. Looks like the last yeah. play of the first quarter is going to be a hold on Henrietta. So let's pop that down. So Henrietta will still have first and 10. First and about 20. Just got a message that says the link's not working, coming from the chief. So I don't know if he's talking about the Facebook link or what, but just a heads up. Just gonna do a quick check here to see what's going on. Hopefully we're not just talking to ourselves. But we are live, it's pulled up on screen. You bet. All right, here we go, second quarter. It's gonna be a first and 22 for the Knights. That was a hold on the last play of the first quarter there, and it was a spot foul, so we actually lost 12 on the penalty. Congratulations to the sophomore, Mr. Little. I'd like to thank all the classes for the hard work, all the flutes, all the classes did a fantastic job. Way to go, Kellyville High School. Congratulations, sophomores. Oh, we had to, we had to run one on Had to run that one play out. Yep. And then it, uh, now we start the second quarter. Used to be a used to be a quarter would only get extended on a defensive penalty. I guess that's a new rule or something. Hell, I could have missed it. There's so many different rules. Now we need David Warden up here to explain it. <laughs> Doc's probably busy. <laughs> Doc may be watching. He does watch a lot of the uh, video that we do, and we. I always appreciate his input. Uh, catch up with him the next week. Doc's got a pretty good retirement gig, supervisor of officials for the Big 12. I believe that's what he does. Tell you what, Doc, is, uh, he knows his stuff on it. Yep. All right, here we go, second quarter. 
It'll be second and 23 for the night. Straight back pass. pass. Long and out. Good catch by Macaluso. He's still going and he is out of bounds. He's going to be out of bounds about the uh, 42 or 43 yard line. I see no flags to back him up. Actually, going to bring him down to the 32, Bruce. We're 10 yards off. <laughs> no, that's. Yeah, that is 32. It's difficult on this angle here. Well, we're, our, our seats aren't very high up. These bleachers don't go very far up. No. We don't have the bird's eye view we're used to having. Plus, we're also right here at the 40. I got to keep that in mind. Okay, here's the Knights. Third down and about 15. And I got an offside. There's a good one. So, Henrietta gets a little back on that. It's a free five. It'll make it a third and about nine. Go here to get five or six if you can, then make it a manageable fourth down. If you, if you can't get the third down here, obviously you want to get the conversion. Yeah. Key thing is no negative plays here. All right, it's going to have four wide outs on this play. Single back in the backfield, Jordan Hart, and he's straight back. There's nice pass, throw. Good bullet to uh, Boyles. That was one of them plays I'm talking about. Just picked up about six or seven. But yeah. You're going to put it right at the 15-yard uh, line, fourth down. We'll bring up fourth and about four for the Knights. Obviously, they'll go for it here. You know, they're content to give us those short passes. We ought to just throw them until they stop them. Hey, if they're silly enough to give them to us, I'd take them. That's freebie. That's just like a free handout. Long they were trying to go on off sides, Bruce. Yeah, like to burn is. a timeout. So we'll do a timeout. We'll be right back. Who knows? Well, All like, right, we're back. Look like their strategy there was try to draw them off sides at first and let the play clock run down and we'll come up with a play here. Let's see what we come up with. Interesting formation for the Knights. Looks like they're, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a diamond formation. Oh, well that wasn't pretty, so. 42, on the that's Charlie Robinson. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that was. I don't think I've seen that formation this year. Got split backs and then a back behind Jacob White and it's just a straight handoff. I was expecting a trick play there. Happy birthday to I think they just kind of outthought themselves there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So Kellyville will take over on downs. First and 10 for the uh, Ponies. Ball just uh, shy of the 25 yard line. At the 22. And another, looks like five is going to be on number 75. Yeah, it was Hunter Stewart jumped off sides. That's the second time we've fallen for the motion of the back. Guys just need to calm down a little bit. Well, they're getting excited. So first and five for uh, Kellyville. Minute eating up in the uh, second quarter. A slow moving second quarter. <laughs> yeah. First quarter went by in about 25 minutes. Well, we're on the ground most of the time on that. There's a hand now. He's wrapped up. Um, Jordan Hart and Jacob yeah. White combined on the tackle there. Gonna right. That's going to gonna make it just about a foot short of the uh, first down. Honestly, until they throw, prove they can throw the ball, we might as well have 10 guys up there five yards off the line. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be the strategy we're employing so far. Well, they're doing nothing but staying on the ground right now. I think they've attempted two passes so far, if I'm not mistaken. This would be a good time to throw the ball here, though, second and short. Defense! 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 
Help. Instead, he goes through the middle and he picks up some uh, first down. It's going to be right at the 38 yard line, 39 yard line. Jacob White again on the tackle for the Knights. That's a bad deal when your safety's having to make tackles. You bet. We'd like to protect him from making those tackles since he's our quarterback, too. And he's taking some pretty good shots this year. I'll tell you what, that shows how tough some of these kids are, though. And they got to be in shape, too. There's a the handoff, number 24. 24 and he's got some open ground. Daniel, Finally gets out of bounds. Daniel Bear runs him out over there on the far side. But it's going to be first and 10 in the Henrietta territory about the 46 uh, yard line. Jeremy Hicks on the carry there for the ponies. They got a nice little drive going here after stopping us on downs. They've managed to go about 28 yards so far. Don't mark it at the 47 yard line. There's that handoff again, number 24. It's Austin Macaluso, number 25, knocks him out of bounds. It's gonna be another no, first, first down. down. They found something on that left side they like, Bruce, and they're doing what I like. You just stick mm -hmm. with it till they stop it. No reason why not. I'd be you such know? a boring offensive coordinator. I'd run the same play 20 times in a row if they couldn't stop it. I think sometimes they get to thinking too much and get cute and get away from what's working. But again, that's just my opinion. Well, I knew a coach down in uh, Antlers. As long as that play worked, he ran it to death. He would never change out. And there he goes around the other side. It's going to be good for about uh, three yards. Another tackle by Jacob White Four coming yards. up from that safety position. Made a good job going low. You got to get him low. You don't want to try to tackle him straight up. He'll run you right over. He's got some power in those legs. And he's faster it? than you think for his size. Yeah. He showed on that one run earlier in the first quarter getting around this corner. Oh, he got around the corner and he was gone. He was a trucking. Another hand off to Hicks around the left side. Off to Hicks, number 24. And Austin that's going to make it uh, third down. And, nope, they said first down. That's good for another Kellerman. Macaluso and Tyler Wilson on the tackle there. It looks like Kendra is going to take a timeout and regroup here. Okay. And we'll just take a little short break as well. And we have a timeout charge to Henrietta. All right, 8.56 left to go in this um, first half of this ball game. Henrietta tied it up. Seven all, that's... I'm excited about this. Well, that was, I thought that was a good timeout for the Knights there. Regroup, let the boys catch their breath. Kellyville's got a nice yeah. little drive going here. Maybe doing this, it'll interrupt their momentum. It's gonna be a first and 10 for the Ponies here. Looks like they're at about the 20. 20 something yard line, I can't tell from here. Inside handoff around the end. Uh oh, he's got plenty of room. And he goes. And he is gone for the touchdown. Touchdown ponies. There's number three, Hayden Hudson. Come around from the left side on that inside reverse and they got around the corner and he was gone. That's a pretty good ground game for him. He's done well. Got number 25, Garcia, in to kick the extra point for the Ponies. And once again, I'm sitting there fighting a uh, telephone pole. So I wanted to have to see how it goes. 25, the extra point. Up, over, and good. Gonna make it. Kellyville 14, Henrietta 7. All right, we're back with the Knights getting ready to take the kickoff from Kellyville after that uh, touchdown. We got 8:45 left to go in this um, second quarter, and the kick goes deep. 
Boy, it looked like Kellyville was offsides to me on that. 25 receiving by Cuso. Macaluso's got the ball and he gets it up. And it looks like the ball 35, came out. And we have another fumble. And Kellyville recovers. Oh, we didn't need that. Number two. I swear the guy on the left side, the kicker was offsides on that. He got to the kicking line before the kicker did it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but the referees didn't see it. I'd, that'd be a great time for that flag to throw. Yep. It was close, Bruce. Close. Well, I have a first 10 from the 36. If anybody happens to be watching, we did get the Facebook link cleared up. So you can watch on Facebook or on the HenryEdden.com. All right. There we go with the um, ponies in possession again. There's the quarterback. Number 12. About pass. What's the pass. Nothing there. And a flag, flag goes down. It's an awful late flag. I got a feeling they got an interference on us. Yeah. I think we hit one of the receivers downfield. I hope it's on Kellyville. Oh, now that's an interesting turn of events. We'll take it. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty. We think we understand his off offensive pass interference. That's something you don't see that often. I saw the contact, but I figured they'd call it on us. Because usually it's called on the defense. Offense mm -hmm. gets a free pass a lot. But Henrietta will take care of this. Hand yeah. off number 24 again. Oh, now we have a penalty. Tackle was made by number 12, James Martin. I don't know if they got a face mask or a late hit out of bounds. James Martin. Face mask, 15 face yards. Face mask on Henrietta. Then it was the personal foul kind too, so there goes our interference. Yeah, that's gonna be, I think it's gonna give him a first down too, Bruce. Yep. Yep. So Kellyville with a first down again. Down in Henrietta territory, about the, uh, right at the 15 yard line. 25 yard line. There he goes, number 11 right there in the middle. He had an opening right there in that middle line and went after it. Number 12, Martin, saved the touchdown right there. Dang, that breeze is getting a little chilly up here. Now we get that uh, fall weather coming in. We may, we may be calling a halftime here, folks. <laughs> Bruce the diehard, though. He'll stick with it. I'm always here. 7.30 left to go in this first half. It was a good job by Jordan Hart on the tackle there. Number 21, he filled that hole and went low, made a good tackle. You bet. It's number 82 on the carry there. That is Carson Beam. 61 on the stop for Adriana. And they're calling it short of the first down. Third down. Third down and about one. There's that inside number hand eleven hand. again, right through the middle. First down for the ponies. That's number seventy, Jose Perez, there though on the tackle. You have to figure out why they've got to have a telephone pole right in the middle of the uh, field. <laughs> Just to make you mad? I guess. I guess. It's a conspiracy, Bruce. It's telling us we should have climbed up in that broadcast booth over there where it's warm. Uh, that's good for a young person. <laughs> well, at least both of us out. And it's checking around. 
He's going to be stopped Comes just short. Just short. It's like Boyle saved the touchdown there, number 11. Going to be on about the three-yard line, maybe. 58 on the stop. About two or three. I cannot this, make it out. This poor PA announcer is really struggling with our player names tonight. <laughs> Uh, it's saying on the one yard line. Second down, one. From the, from the five. And he is short. He's not going to be there. It's going to be a first down, but he ain't going to be in the end zone. 45. Well, they're going to have it down about the. Um, just right about the uh, one yard line now. He got close. First down for Kellyville. Wouldn't be surprised to see him hand it to him again here. Nah, let him go right through the middle. He's there. No, you no need to get fancy here. No. Might be quarterback sneak too. Nope, gonna nope. run that inside handoff. Number three. And he's in. Hutchins takes it in. And the touchdown. We do have a flag going. That was a late flag, though. Yeah, sadly, it'll be after the play, so the touchdown should stand. Didn't see what happened, did you? It was right in there. They're kind of pointing over toward Henrietta. I wonder if um, we got a little chippy on that. Good chance. No. It's like they're backing up. Everyone's backing up. The touchdown's going to stand, but they're going to have to come back, do something for the. Um, He's coming over the sideline, talk to Coach Johnson here. Somebody may have got tossed out of the game. I don't know. I think they're giving us the option to take the yardage on the kickoff. Yeah, touchdown's good. Yeah. Personal foul. And he did. Whoever it was, did get tossed. Be knocked off on the kickoff. I think. I don't know. It's, I don't know if that's what that meant or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. And they're saying, let's play. Referee's blowing his whistle. They refereed out why teams do that, lining up to the off the side like that. I've never right. seen anybody do anything out of the ordinary off of it. And it's up. And it looks good. And through, it's good for another point. I think that kicker could kick one from about 35 or 40 if need be. Oh, yeah. Got a strong, leg, strong and accurate leg. Henrietta, seven. Don't forget a 50 50 pot going on with the. Five minutes, 15 seconds left to go in this first half. And they're up by uh, two touchdowns. Well, you just can't turn the ball over and you can't commit penalties. And nope. That's our. Turned it over on downs, and we've had two fumbles so far. Two fumbles directly led to 14 points for Kellyville. So, and the turnover on downs cost us a chance for points. So there's a potential 21-point swing right there. Mm -hmm. Kellyville is going to be marched back 15 yards, kick off from the 25 here. So, anyway, should be able to get a good field position here. We'll see if they do an onside kick here. It would be interesting. I can't see that happening here, not where they are. Now, if the penalty would have been on us and they got 15 yards our direction, very good chance. Well, he boots it. We have Macaluso on the return here. About the 30-yard line. And he's got some room. Nice return out to midfield there. Yeah, he brings it right up to the 50. That's where we were wanting him to go. For Kelleville. And that'll be Mason Marcus. Let's see what the Knights can do here. Got a little over five minutes to go until halftime. Still a lot of time left. 
be nice to have a little five minute drive and get seven here. If we can come up within uh, one touchdown of the uh, tying it up at halftime, we're, uh, that's good stuff. All right, there's a handoff. Oh. They had a heart by the arm and just slung him down. Looked like he grabbed the face mask to begin with. And he hard by Carson Brown, number 15 for the Pines. I think they've gotten wise to our little handoff inside now. So yeah. Need to open it up a little bit. You don't want to get away from running the ball, but they haven't stopped this yet when we pass. So. We've come out with four wides this time. Macaluso in motion. And they give it to Hart. And he gets free. At about, they're gonna put it about the uh, 44 yard line. And we and have another flag. flag. We got about eight on that. Be interesting to see who this flag's on. It looks like he's wanting to walk back to north. I wish he was facing the other way. Looks like it's going against us. It's against Henrietta. Dead ball too. Personal foul. I'm not sure who that was called against, Bruce. I didn't really see anything that... I didn't either, unless it was just something that was said or whatever right there in the... No, that would have been an unsportsmanlike personal foul. Somebody must have balked after the player hit somebody after the play was dead. I really didn't see it, so... That's going to bring up... That was doubly damaging. Not only was it a penalty, it's a, after the play, so it's third down. Before. Right. Low snap. Macaluso has it again, and he's around the end. It closed up quickly. He needed some more blocking around that end. At third and Looks 20. Like so. Pickering yeah. on the stop, number 11. So here we are, fourth down. Ball back down around the, our 43-yard uh, line. This makes it fourth and 17. Not sure why the clock's not run. Okay, the play clock never started. No. Now it has. I think we're just going to run this down. Call timeout. To be honest. No way you go for it here. They burn as much clock. Call yeah, the timeout. There's nothing there. Uh, timeout call. And we have a timeout on the field. So we'll, we'll take a little short break. I believe that was their last time out of the half, Bruce. Yeah. This, I don't think it's going to matter that it shouldn't need any more. Well, the problem is you shouldn't, but... There's always that one you're going to need yeah, the we most weren't. inopportune that time. That was the last one. We called that one. We were on fourth down down here earlier. And then right. The defensive timeout. So, yeah, we're out of timeout. Fourth down, 17. Uh, Got Boyle's back to punt for the Knights. Good snap. Good kick. kick. Takes a nice Henry at a bounce. Takes a nice bounce there. At about the 24-yard line. No mark at about the 25 Martin, number 12, downs it there for the Knights. You know, his ponies got away from it that time. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best strategy, to be honest, in high school, because you never know where the kick's going to go. <laughs> no. And when you got a field like this, it's about half mud. You know, good thing, though, the field's held up. I haven't really seen anybody lose their footing so far tonight. Especially right out there about the 40. That's the spot I've been waiting for. It. It'll happen at some point. But... There's the quarterback, number 12 for Delaville. There's a handoff, oh, no. number 16. Jordan Hart saved the touchdown there. Tell you what, Jordan's a good thing he's able to run him down. That's about a 37 yard carry for the big man there. And I tell you yeah. what, he, he hit that hole, he can run. Oh yeah. And he's not a small man either. No. Making the stop for Henrietta, saving the touchdown, is 21. Jordan Hart. That's about third one he's saved for us. Go, nice. Let's go. L -E -T -T -E. 
I expect to see a steady diet at number 45 on this drive. Oh, yeah. There you go. And here he goes again. Oh, there's somebody losing. Oh, oh, we got a fight. Fight, fight. All right, so. As soon as I mentioned that about nobody losing their footing, he tried to cut back and fail. Yeah. Looks like he was trying to do one of those um, pro quarterback slides. William Peterson there looking like Adrian Peterson trying to make the cut back and take <laughs> it to the house. He couldn't make it though. That was Jacob White there involved in the after play scrum. I don't know who the player for uh, Kellyville was, but the refs need to get a handle on this pretty quick or it's going to get out of control. Real fast. Let's start throwing players out for the extracurriculars. And we're going to go over and talk to um, the Kellyville coach. Face mask against Henrietta. Personal foul, foul against, against Kellyville. Kellyville. So, Personal foul so at all that, we get nothing. We're going to have to like it. We'll just keep the ball right there, and we'll use up a couple, three minutes of our own time. Not the play clock. Looks like it's going to be a first down, though. Yep. Since they were both dead balls, that fouls down. after the play. The play stands. Ball's going to be about the 25-yard um, line. Rev's coming over here talking to Coach Johnson, trying to explain <coughs> what the call was there. 25. Bill Peterson got a first down for the Bunnies. I don't know what's going on with now, the sidelines guys over here, but the, when they get a first down, the, the marker is always like a yard or two off. <laughs> or it looks like it is. Maybe it's just the angle we're at. It's the angle we're at. Number 12 keeps the ball. Quarterback on the keeper, number 12. Colton Wine and number one there on the tackle for the Knights. But... Um, Getting down to two minutes here to go in the first half. I think Kellyville's got a couple of timeouts still left, so I would look for him to use one at some point if need be. Yeah, we're under the two minute mark. We've still got about um, 30 yards there. Second down, seven. There's a handoff, Utah. number 45, and Number 61, Tyler Wilson, and number 73, Deontay Parker there. Wilson came free on the blitz and timed it perfectly. Oh, it was. Stopped him. do with that, Bruce. Hit that run blitz up the middle and hope they run up the middle. Yeah. Making the initial stop was 73. That's Parker. So, a minute 18. Because we don't seem to be in any big hurry. Down 10. You're up by um, two touchdowns. Why? I look for him to burn a timeout here. Maybe. Yeah, now they yeah. call it. There we go. Right at a minute. I think they're just about out of timeout, so I believe they may have used all of them. I'll bring up a first down. Yeah, I do want to thank everyone that um, watches. Um, listen, folks, appreciate um, y'all going by our sponsors. Um, Jiffy Mart, Harvey Q's, Fountain, Fountain View Marine, or, uh, Manor, Jeremy Roberts over at um, Bert, uh, Edward Jones, Creek Nation Casino. Been with us for a lot of years. Also, the um, Henrietta Eye Center. They're good folks. Every one of them. Got my new glasses this way down at Henrietta Eye Center. Went to the transition lenses. First time I've ever had them. Hey, those are good. I like them. I've didn't, had them before. I didn't. I haven't worn them today though, because so I just figured uh, with this weather, I'll just wear my old. Yeah, you don't need them this weather, but. No. Um, about the middle of July at the parade. Yeah. yeah that well, was I great. came out yesterday with them on and I couldn't believe the difference. I've never had the transition lenses before. I would highly recommend them now. I don't know what I've been missing all these years. 
It only cost me about $60 more, too. That was a good thing. It's worth it. And there you go, right through the middle. Number three on the carry, Dungeons. Looks like they got the first down. Clock will stop while they move the chains, and now here we go. Ticking down to 50 seconds here to go. Looks like they're just outside the 10 here, maybe about the 13. Run blitz up the middle again. Oh, he's around the corner, and he is gone. Touchdown. They just found something on that left side they like. That's where all their touchdowns have been, basically. Got a lot of yards on that side. I do want to tell everyone that uh, tomorrow is uh, regional cross country running out at uh, Nichols Park. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's supposed to take place. We take, uh, we hit the uh, track at noon, so maybe the rain won't be that bad. There'll be a lot of a lot of schools here for that, won't there? Oh yeah, Macaluso comes busting through the line, gets a uh, penalty. Looks like we tried to time the kick up there, and it was just a little too early. And in case anybody missed it, the crew tonight has been postponed for a couple of weeks because of the weather. It'll be on the 27th. Um, Throwing that out there as a PSA for anybody that does it. We'll, uh, we'll have um, one of the street outlaws there. You can see the story over on the henredden.com. Your source for all things local. Bruce Ward circles around everybody in this town. All right, they're going to go for two on this one since so get that penalty. And we stuffed it. And he's not going anywhere. There. Get Deontay to hit you, and you're going to go backwards. I don't blame them. They, they run like the oh, yeah. half yard line. So sure. Might as well go for two. But you got Deontay on there that uh, takes yeah, up more than about three yards. Well, he's pretty dirty. He's been in on a lot of plays already. Oh, yeah. Henrietta, seven. I'd like to have a whole line full of him. Need them biggins. So 37 seconds left to go in the first half. Henrietta's down 27-7. Nice, we'll be taking the kickoff. Also, while we're on here, we want to announce that the game next week will be on Thursday night. Yep. We will be at home versus Jones. And once again, another conference game um, against a team that's really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, low kick. And we take it and drop it at the uh, about 38 yard line. Looks like they were Number almost five. offsides again. Dropping on the ball for Adrienne as Logan Whitlock. Good job by Whitlock to cover that there. Adrienne's ball first and ten. <laughs> Could play, be the last play of the first half here. First and ten for Henrietta. Quarterback number 15. Well, Wide takes a low. Short pass uh, incomplete. Macaluso had to come back for it, and it was still too short. That yeah, timing was all messed up on that. We're yeah. having problems with center snaps again tonight. We've got to get those snaps back under control. We had them just about under control last week. Wet well, ball, wet field, it happens. Oh, yeah. And that, that's probably a lot of the issue tonight. Because I know the last game I was at, we were doing a lot better. Mm -hmm. Incomplete pass, ring up second down, 10. Now he's going to go for the pass. Quarterback passing. Intercepted. Number six. And flag goes flying. Six. Good move. Thank you for the interception for Kellyville. 
And we have personal foul on somebody here. I don't know if it's on us or Kellyville. All the action's happening on the other side of the field, so we have a hard time seeing here. Looks like it's against Kellyville. That was against the ponies. I think it was a blindside block, what it looked like from here. They call it a blindside block. <laughs> there you go, John. I've just been confirmed by the PA guy. I should have his job. Hey, it'd be warmer. Yeah, I could pronounce the names better too, I think. At least for us. Yeah. It happens. 21 and a half seconds left to go in this first half. It'll be about the 42 yard line of the Knights here. Be interesting to see what they do here. Go at number 45 and let him romp. I think they're going to throw here, Bruce. There's back to, back to uh, pass. Incomplete. That was going to go down to. Um, Try and see the number. It would have been down about the uh, 20 yard line. Boyle's there on the coverage, just a little underthrown there. Incomplete pass stops the clock. Got 14.8 seconds here to go in the first half. Very slowly moving second quarter. Second down 10. There goes some wide out over on the uh, right side. And back to pass. Number seven takes it. He gets the first down, but um, they do have a timeout left because they are calling yep, it right now. There it goes. That's one of those situations there. He might have been better off just getting out of bounds and saving a few seconds. And that's now they've pretty much got one play left. Now. So four seconds left to go in this uh, first half. Well, it looked like for a little bit that Henrietta was going to be able to um, try and burn the clock out. Now Kellyville's getting ready to score. Snowball's quick, Bruce. Turnovers and turnovers. Oh, man. We had three turnovers plus a turnover on down. So four, four turnovers mm -hmm. in the first half. And you can't keep that up. No, it's hard to beat anybody with that. Go, big, lucky, go, go, big, go. It looks like they're right at the 20 yard line. Like I said they got time for one play here, so we assume they'll be throwing it to the end zone. Just cover everybody and don't do anything stupid. You bet. There's the 10. Oh, and it's a fumble. And there's a good fumble. We'll take it. Oh, I guess they had one timeout left. Yellow recovers. Goodness gracious, I thought they'd already burned them all. I did too. So with one second left in the first half, they uh, burn up their last time out. I thought that was like one five or six. <laughs> Sadly, the scoreboard don't have the timeouts on it, so we're no. just having to guess. Guess we have to get a pencil and start marking. Yeah. I'm gonna say with pretty much absolute certainty that was their last timeout though. <laughs> I think so. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, please. The second quarter that won't end. Yeah, we thought it was going to end about uh, 30 seconds ago. Or was that we were, 10 minutes ago? We were actually tied at seven starting this quarter. Yeah. That's it, it snowballs quicker when you turn the ball over. I could see him handing it off to big 45 here and seeing how far he can rumble. Well, he got to lose. Yeah. I don't know that he can throw it that far to the end zone. Just based on what I've seen from his arm so far. Quarterback's talking to number 45. Nope, he's going to throw it to the yeah, He's going deep. And, long. and intercepted by, by Henrietta. So we get an interception right as the clock runs out. As James Martin, number 12, with a good coverage. That's a good move. All right, well, we're going to take a little bit of a break for a half. All right, we're about ready to start second half, John. Well, all right, Bruce, let's hope it's a swiftly moving half. Hey, I'll tell you what, it's definitely um, football weather. Yeah. Pony's going to be kicking off to Henrietta. Got Hart and Macaluso back deep. Let's see if they do a... Um, 
One of their long ones. Looks like it. Good and deep. And it's going to go in the end zone. It's going to roll back into the end zone, so we'll take it on the 20. Yeah, I've got a co-worker down there at the store, Bruce, and she's always cold. She was freezing today and I always give her a hard time. I tell her, you know, <laughs> well, you're so stinking skinny. You know, at least a fat boy like me, we don't get cold, but if she, I can't wait to tell her tomorrow that, yes, I was cold tonight. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to laugh at me, too. It is getting brisk out here. I mean, she, it can be 85 degrees outside, and she'll be in the store complaining about being cold. <laughs> My girl. All right. Really, I'm over sweating buckets. All right, here we go. Back to action. White back to uh, take the snap. A little bit of low. Screen pass out. Oh, nice deflection. Oh, I like that. I think that was actually intended for Bear and Macaluso. I know it was. Happened to just be in the same area. Tipped it right to Bear. It'll be a first down for the night. And I'm gonna put him on about the 32 yard line. I've got that on the um, instant replay. We'll see that one again here in a minute. <laughs> that ought to be some interference there, I would think. I think they may have been trying to trying to set up the old hook and lateral play there. Mm -hmm. There was that cute little pass that um, out of one hand into the other. On that play, they just ran Macaluso hooked up, and uh, Jordan Hart was coming around the end. It looked like they were trying to run that old trick play. They were both covered, though. Yep. So it's probably a good thing it was incomplete. So second and ten for the Knights. Macaluso in motion. There's a handoff to Hart. Got some room around the, left, around the left end. And closed quickly. Lost about two on that. Yep. Bring up the third and 12. You know, John, also this weekend, we've got the Henrietta Cup golf tournament going on. That's a big annual event. They're still going to get it in. They're going to get it in. The only way they won't do it is if there's um, lightning. a lot of lightning. Yeah. Ooh, playing golf in the rain is not fun, especially when it's cold. Oh, man, it's supposed to be cold. They had to play Saturday and Sunday. Nice toss. So, and we got the first down. So Boyles gets us the first down on that pass. I thought I saw Bruce that it's supposed to get down to the, pretty close to freezing either tonight or tomorrow night. I don't remember what night it's it was. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Just imagine a week ago we were 90. You got to yeah. love Oklahoma. Could be 90 again next week. Well, and keep in mind we had tornadoes, we had snow in the panhandle. Who was it that said Oklahoma's bipolar? I told the weather to go home because they were drunk. Throws it out of bounds. Go home, Oklahoma weather, you're drunk. For that was Pickering. I think I've been told that once or twice. It's been a while. Whew. Man, if that wind would just stop blowing, it wouldn't be too bad. And it's not much of a wind, but we're up here on the top row. Right, it's just enough. Not even enough to stir the flag. Another low snap. I'm getting tired of those. Nice toss to Macaluso. So Macaluso will pick up about five on that. He's going to set up a manageable third and five. Yep. It's pretty much four down territory. We're right at midfield. If we don't get it, we get, we're pretty much got to go. We're down five at the 50. No surprise we've come out throwing this half. When you're down 20, you need to score points and score them as quick as you can. Oh, he had to get rid of that. White was under uh, big pressure there. It's number 42, Charlie Robinson there on the pressure company. Looks like we are going to punt here, so I'm wrong. I think if we'd have gained any yardage there, I think if we'd have gained any yardage there, we'd have probably went for it. Yeah. 
So there was just too much pressure hitting him right there at one time. And there's a kick. Barely gets across midfield. It's going to be about the 45. Kind of surprised we didn't go for it there, even at midfield with a fourth and five. Easy to second guess now after a, we didn't get much on the punt. But, no. You know, I've seen us go for, go for it in our own territory this year, so. Be about 43 yard line, I'm saying. He's saying, uh, now they're saying 44. It looks about a seven yard net punt there. Yeah. One of the worst we've had seen all year. Number 12 keeps it, quarterback around the end. Jordan Hart saves the touchdown there. It's going to be on about the 34. That's good for another Kellyville touchdown. 34. Now they're marking it just inside the 35. No matter the 35. So Kellyville's initial play here in the second half. Yep. Not sure why the game clock's not running. The play clock is. But game clock should be. He was tackled in bounds. And they start the clock. A little lag on the play. Either, either that or delay a game. Delay game. Yep. So that's going to put it back five. We'll push it back to right at 40. First and 15. Now the play clock's not running. <laughs> the game clock's running, but the play clock's not. Hey, there it goes. Go. Clock operators must be taking a siesta up there. Oh, now we have another false start. It's got to be on uh, Kellyville there. Legal procedure. Headlinesman on this side's calling it. We'll back and back another five. Hey, we'll take it, man. We need it. So still first down, this time first and about 20. First and 20. Hey, they got the clock running right this time. Good job, guys. Number three has it. Good job by, by James Martin there coming back. I've called his name quite a bit tonight. He's been in on a lot of tackles. He's been doing a good job. Yeah, but unfortunately, you don't want your defensive back seven to make that many tackles. No. That's not a good sign. Got about 55 on that. It's going to bring up a second and 15. Second down, 15. About time for Peterson to carry the ball again. High snap. Boy, they're having a hard time getting their offense. They are. Sink. Gonna back them up another five. That's the third five yard penalty on this drive. That's the most mistakes they've made um, all evening, basically. Five yard penalty brings them back to the 35. Second and 20. We're going to have it back to sec 20 yards now, but now we're on second down. They just nullified that whole um, run there. Left end on this and side. And long pass out. Oh. Intercepted by Boyles there. He almost had it. Whoever's lined up on the left side over to Kellyville's got a head start on that play. Yeah. They could have had another penalty call yeah. right there. It wasn't that noticeable, so I'm not going to excuse the reps not calling that. Just a split second. That happens a lot, though, in high school. And I ain't got no problem with that as long as it's not blatant. So here we are, third and 20. I have an official timeout for equipment, I think. Colton Wines coming to the sidelines yeah. here. 
He's got some kind of issue with his helmet. Number 51, Tate Wisdom coming in the game to play a uh, left end. Here comes that inside handoff for three again, and he's got the corner. He's got some room. Looks like we got some laundry on the play, Bruce, so looks like we got another penalty. This one be coming back. This reminds me of the first game when they called penalties every other play. Oh, no joke. Morris, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Morris. Yeah. Hard to believe that was August. <laughs> Or first of September, I came here one day. I think well, it was the August. Think about it. Um, no, it was the first week of September. It was Labor Day weekend, I believe. Nope, Morse game was the weekend before. I'll be. I was right the first time. We did start in August, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we got a head start. We played in week zero, as they called it. I am um, just had a great interview with Henrietta's new basketball boys coach. It's going to be kind of interesting. We'll have that video um, up on the website um, next week. It's Hard to believe we're already getting ready to start talking about basketball. Yep. Do they have? Is there a week where we don't play football, Bruce? Do we have a week off in there? No. Okay. I wasn't sure. No. Ten yards to score the foul. We're not like OU. We're not getting a bye. I think OU took a bye last week on defense. Yeah, it's OSU this week, right? Do I? There's no issue taking a bye this weekend? I think they do, but I couldn't tell you who it is, to be honest. There's that handoff through the middle. Macaluso in there on the tackle. And Macaluso's. Macaluso and Hunter Stewart in on the tackle there. Yeah. And we have flag fly. Late. <laughs> they actually call a flag on that? They just called it. Oh, they called a fumble? So the Knights get a fumble there. We think. I don't know. The refs are talking about it, Bruce. It's, he pointed our direction. It's unsportsmanlike against Kellyville. Yep. So that's going to put the ball way back there. And that is Henrietta's ball. Well, we got some good field position here. Let's do something. We're setting on the 30-yard um, line. 40. 40. <laughs> that's thinking pole. <laughs> no. 30. Yeah, 40. Pole's driving me nuts. Run and reverse, and we got some daylight around the side. And it's coming back. Flag down. It's a good run by Boyles, but. Three on the tackle for Kelly. There's that, ye uh, that yellow hanky's laying there. I had a feeling that was coming at some point because we've been running that straight hand off to the left all night. Mm -hmm. That's going to put it right at the midfield mark. Actually, first 49. 20. First and 20 for the night. Clock's ticking under seven minutes here to go in the third quarter. First and 20. You know, they're still in this game. We can go get some points here. Oh, sure. There's that pass. Kind of a weak pass. Good adjustment. Great catch by Bear. Fantastic job by Bear adjusting to that. And I think he's got the first down. Or he's going to be short. Just a little bit short. He's going to be short of it. Daniel Bear. Daniel's had a good night at receiver tonight. He's going to be about four, four or five yards short. He's going to be at the second. Yep. They're saying second three looks more like four to me. So. More it is for. Second down three. Maybe it's a Kellyville four three. Yeah. Low snap again. And we have another flag. 
15. Good job by White trying to make something there. <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but it could have been offside. Lego shift. It's going to push you back to second and about nine here. Yeah. Refs are getting their arm, their uh, money's worth here on the penalties here in the second half. Well, this whole quarter has been fraught with them. Oh, it's been at least seven called already. My careful estimate, I could be wrong, but. There's that screen. Little screen pass. Right open. He gets some blocks. Hearts open, he gets a couple blocks. That had a potential to bust for more there. It was open. But it filled in real fast. Yeah, we're in four down territory here. So third down and about uh, three yards. Four down territory. I'll take two on that then. Let's just convert it here and not worry about it. Split backs in the backfield with White. Hand off the back. Hand and off. Goes nowhere. They were ready for him. Yep. Gonna be, that's actually a loss of several yards on that. Yeah. Play. It's gonna be up fourth Before, about five now. Lost a couple. Trying to pick it up, catch him off guard. Yeah, but now it's almost assuredly a passing situation here on fourth and about five. There's a short pass. Incomplete. Maybe it's a roughing the passer. White say, and pointing toward uh, Kellyville. So uh, maybe. I've been told that Oklahoma State plays Kansas State tomorrow. Okay, cool. We were wondering. So that's going to bring up first down for the Knights. We'll take it. We'll take it anywhere we can get them now. I'm not arguing. Beginning to wonder if this is the same crew we had for the Morris game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying flag happy? Yes, you need a bit. All right, first down for Henrietta. There's that pass again. Incomplete. Henrietta is taken to the air this uh, quarter. Yep, I kind of figured they might do that. They had some. They had pretty good success in the first half throwing the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But it hasn't translated to this one. How about them killing that ice coach cheerleaders? Good job, ladies. Oh. 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 Four sixteen left to go in this uh, quarter. It's been a fast one. I think we how fast they go for one for the flag. Good snap that time. Got a hole there. White's got some time. I don't know what that was meant for, but it sure didn't go anywhere. Got Jordan out there in the flat, and he was trying to get it to him. And big number seventy one there was pretty close to him. I think he didn't. I thought he, I think he thought he didn't have time to wind up and throw it, so he just did the push pass. We're going fourth and ten here for the Knights. Obviously, this is a go for it situation. Well, we've connected on others like this. Interesting situation. Got 
Jordan Hart lined up in the pistol right behind him. And, and we're going to burn a timeout. Timeout time on, on the Henrietta side. Yeah. So we'll take another little break. All right, we're back again. Fourth down for the Knights. Pass out. And it's uh, intercepted. He is gone. There is no one around him. Rip just threw a flag behind the play. I'm not really sure why. That been a block in the back? I didn't see anything, Bruce. So maybe on Jordan Hart, he went and initiated contact with a number 42 from Kellyville there. They don't let stuff like that go anymore behind the play like they used to. No. Ball was intercepted and ran all the way back by. Be interesting seeing where they. Uh, move this ball to. Honestly, I didn't, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see anything really there that should have warranted a penalty, but yep, he picked it up. Yeah. And they're uh, picking up the flag and running it off. Touchdown is good. So 33 to seven. Coach Johnson's wondering what's going on. Uh, I couldn't tell you, but like I said, I, I was watching it behind the play and it, Look like they're Jordan and one of their players just blocked each other. And, I mean, I didn't really see anything wrong with what, what they did. So. Well, anymore, they're calling it those. Oh, they're looking blocked. for anything, Bruce. I mean, yeah. they're, they're flag happy anymore. Number 25. And they're going to try the kick. Good up and go. Let's get it. Now I understand that they're trying to cut down on the stuff behind the play and it's all in player safety so I understand Oh, that. sure, sure. Like I said I'm a Henrietta fan but I saw nothing on that play that warranted yeah, a penalty. So, I think it's a good pickup by the way. All right so Henrietta is going to be definitely struggling the rest of the game to come back. Seven Tabor Thornburg with the long return about 80 yards. Beautiful catch. <laughs> Looks like we got one of the Henrietta kids on the sidelines this out of the game. I can't see what number that is, Bruce. Is that gouge? Can you tell? Or is that 50? I cannot see it. He's got his arm well, That'd over. be gouge too, so. That's 60. It's Austin Gouge. He's over here with his helmet and pads off, so he must be out of the game. So here goes the um, kick. Garcia kicking hot 25. Big and hot. What's well, a kick to the eight yard line? That's pretty good. A heck of a kick. Oh, nice hit. And that is Hart. Jordan Hart gets it up to about the uh, 22 yard line. 52 yard kickoff for a high school kid. That's pretty impressive. That's awesome. That is awesome. Also, I think Of course, Oldenville had a couple of kickers last week, they were nailing it. I watched a little bit of it online, but I never saw him kick, I don't think. Uh, they were good at the long ball. Like I said, it's a 2 a football. It's hard to find a kicker that can kick like that. Oh, yeah. And that's a big weapon. Now. Have you got that in your arsenal? You're, yeah, you can do some good. Yeah, before you came back here, Henry had, had a couple of good kickers. There's that low snap again. That's it. Oh man, big hit, knocked the helmet off number 34, but Jordan gets up to the 40, first down Henrietta. There's that middle screen again. That's, good that's, uh, that's a bread and butter play, we need to keep running that. I don't know how we can insist anymore. <laughs> now we've run it about a half a dozen times tonight. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think every time it's been a pretty good gainer. There's the low again. There's that middle screen. 
Looks like we got a late hit on the quarterback here. They sniffed that one out though, Bruce. They had one guy that stayed home on that. Uh -huh. That's a danger of that middle screen. If a guy stays home, he can pick that sucker off. Yeah. And I see us run the so. screen out here to the side. I don't, th I don't think I've seen us do anything but the middle screen this year. That late hit cost them 15. And another first down. We're inside We're Terryville at 45. territory. 45. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go here in this third quarter. We still have some time to do it. Miller's against the phone. He's rough at the passer. First and 10, up to 45. White taking his time. There's that nice pass. throw. Oh, right through the Good back. shot. Pass is incomplete. <laughs> Seven on the coverage for Kellyville. Got number, number 61, five. Tyler Wilson in at Good center. For number five for Henrietta. 76, Cameron Slyconi standing on left guard. Got Colton Wine out there at left Incomplete tackle. Pass will bring up second down and 10. Number 50, Lance Gouge is in at right guard. Not Weston Thomas, 72 at right tackle. Thought I'd better run down the offensive line and give them a little shout out. They've actually done a pretty solid job tonight up front. Yeah, they have. White passing. Yeah, pass. Good shot, oh, number three. He just did not have control. Pass. It was his pass, too. Well thrown ball. It was. He's got third and 10 coming up here for the night. A little combination of cold hands and uh, wet ball. For Third and ten with 2:55 left to go in the uh, third quarter. Incomplete pass will bring up third down and ten. Hear him on the sidelines over on Kellyville Hall and watch for the screen. White the quarterback passes and incomplete again. Fourth down. Incomplete pass. That bear out there in the um, pass was area to receive it. Three. Bear. Could not get it to him. Fourth down and fourth ten. Down. Pass from the 45. Under pressure, right, right, and it's fumble, and fumbles, and it's not going to matter because it's fourth down, so it's going to turn over on yeah, down. I think we yep. had a loose ball on the play. Kellyville will take over to Henrietta Forty. Fourth down anyway. Kellyville will take over on down. About six Kellyville uh, defenders went That's running through the line on that. that. They just swarmed for a white. The initial blocking wasn't bad, but they couldn't hold it forever. No, nobody was open, so. Helping out on the initial stop was Sean Lane, number 34, for Kellyville. Ponies ball at the 30, first and 10. So first down for the uh, Kellyville Ponies. Pitch up number 82. Go here on the right end. Finally brought down, but he's going to get a first and 10 and put it down deep into Henrietta territory. He's number like 12, those. Martin. Making a stop with number 12, Mark. And also We're going to spot it on the 10 yard line. And there's 15 wide in on the tackle. And that's going to be another Kelly first down. Looks like they're just right on the 10. I mean, right there. Now we're getting somewhere. We're back, keeps the ball. Down to about the three yard line. It'll be second and goal. 50 on the stop. That's Lance Gouge. 
minute 50 left to go in this quarter. Yeah, the three yard line, second and goal. Henrietta says, no, you don't on that one. The whole line came through. Looks like we got a few more players dressed out tonight, though, than we have in the past. Mm -hmm. Counted 29 in uniform tonight. Third right down and goal from the four. Actually, 28. <laughs> Number 54 with the ball, and he's down. Ball came loose, but they said that he uh, was already down when it came loose. At the five. So fourth and five. It's number 54, Timothy Roth on the carry. I think he's just an offensive lineman having some fun. He's not listed as a runner back, so. This is an offensive lineman slash defensive lineman. Fourth and go. And he's down. So Henrietta will take over. Looks like uh, Henrietta will take over on downs. Looks like Henrietta's going to put in uh, Bradley Pixler too. Yep, Pixler number four is coming in to play quarterback. That really wouldn't be a bad deal. No, Jacob needs a break. He's, he's got to have some break. I see Colt. No use getting beat up even more in this game. Yeah. Looks like a new quarterback. Number one. Good tough runner by Jordan Hart. Sisson, this is number one. Does that sound right? Mm-hmm. So Henry had okay, tried. just one play, but Riley was going to be in there. <laughs> so Jacob's back out after getting a one-play breather. Yeah, I'd like to see him in there a little bit, uh, taking more of a break. But. And that will be the end of the third quarter. So we moved to the fourth quarter. Henry had it down by uh, a bunch. 27, Bruce. Yeah, a bunch. I know that math was hard. <laughs> That's a bunch. You think your mind went blank there? Yeah, I'm having a senior it's a moment. Cold, it's a cold. So we're going to take another break. That's a little funny bone or something. Got Deontay on the side as well. So the Knights are way back. They've got a long road to get down we'll get to the other end of the field. Uh, again for the 97th time tonight. Nice throw, Macaluso's got some yard. Oh, and he slipped. Of course. So close. So close. They'd have probably caught him, but he'd have got at least 10 or 15 more yards. <laughs> First and 10 for Hendred on about the 35 yard line. They're on 35. That was a good run. Yeah. I said if he hadn't slipped, he's got at least 10, 15 more there. Mm -hmm. That deep pass, incomplete. We're still seeing those. We're still seeing those low snaps. I know. We had one game where we didn't have that many. And this yeah, game is a technique thing, and I, I'm not smart enough to know what he's doing wrong. 
Yeah, I'm not either. If nothing else, move forward one foot. Yeah, that's what, kind of what I'm thinking. And that, that could be part of it too. He may just be a little bit too deep in his shotgun set. I don't know. He looks. Like, he actually looks like he's closer. Bring it out there. That was not bad. There's a pass. Nice throw. Oh, uh, tried to adjust and couldn't quite. Yeah, from, from the game we've seen earlier this year, Bruce, he actually looks like he's about two feet closer to where he was, or maybe even a yard. Well, he may have to move even further. I don't know, it's just... Like I said, I'm, I don't know about the technical aspects of that snap, but when you see these guys at, in the college and NFL, that's all they do, and they snap it perfect every time. That's mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it. So you know eventually they're going to make a bad snap. Down 10. And usually that's when you're down by uh, one point and it's so the, the last minute. Most possible moment. There's that pass again. Oh, good play. Good breakup. Um, he's going to Macaluso and 24 Jeremy Hicks on the breakup. He's been in on a lot of action on the offensive side of the ball tonight. He did a very good job of um, knocking that ball away. Looks like we will punt here. The fourth and ten coming up. 11 6 left in the game. Go, go, team, go, team, go, 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 let's go. Go, go, team, go, team, go, 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 let's go. Go, go, team, go, team, go, 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 let's go. Go, go, team, go, team, go, 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 let's go. kick. High, but no uh, distance. Kind of short legged at Bruce. He didn't get a good he ball did. through there. He had pressure coming from that side and he kind of held up a little bit instead of following through. Actually, I thought that ball was going to get blocked. Yeah, he did. A couple guys came through on that uh, left side of their defense. So the ball's still in Henrietta territory, just. Uh, about the 39 yard line. Ponies have a first and 10. Looks like we're short a player on the field. There we go, they figured it out. Yeah, Jordan Hart's still out of the game, so. Yeah. There's pitch out. Good job on Macaluso on the tackle. He's had a heck of a game tonight on defense. Oh, Macaluso has been doing well both offense and defense. Look how filthy his jersey is on the back. On the stop. Macaluso is looking over toward the coach asking uh, what to do. Gain of about one on the play. Take it down, seven. Maybe. Down over the center. Macaluso missed that tackle. Jacob White got him down. Looks like he got the first down, though. Yeah, he did. Looked like Macaluso was going to make the tackle. He just had too much speed and overran him. Yeah, I got him a little high on that one. That's good for another caliber first down. There's a pitch out again, number three. It's a good job over on that side. Number 50, Gouge, 25 again, Macaluso. No gain on that play. Brings up second down. I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to go to the car and warm up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking how nice that heater is going to feel on the way back. Number three. Good job, Jacob White coming up from safety and Colton Wine there and on the tackle. We're pretty much all out blitzing up the middle now. Oh, yeah. Actually been using that strategy most of the game. Hey, 
we are still fighting that uh, telephone pole again. Clock running down, 8.35. Third and seven for the uh, ponies. And number 11 gets the ball. He almost he dropped it. Gone. And touchdown for the ponies. Now, Bruce, I remember the old guys at the Henrietta football field. We had a pole just like that that was right in the middle of it. About the same spot on the field, yeah. too. Because I remember sitting there watching games as a kid. And being mad about that pole being in the way every week. I can point you out on the sidelines there where every one of those telephone poles were. I bet so. But I'm, I'm guessing it was almost an exact same spot this one was. It probably was. At the 50 yard line uh, on the uh, other side back in the old days, they had the crow's nest. You had to climb up a ladder, take your, and actually do the filming. Uh, that's it's up good. and good. You don't remember, um, 41 to 7. Playing Little League baseball down there at the baseball field. And they had lights back then, but when I got to high school, they didn't have lights on the field. Mm -hmm. And my senior year, they were supposed to put lights in, and they never got them put in. All season, we played with the light poles sitting right in front of the fence in the outfield. <laughs> the whole year. So anybody hit one to the fence, it hit on the ground, it hit the light poles. <laughs> unless they tie, unless they hit it just in the right spot where there wasn't any poles, they, they went all the way from left field to right field. Good night. Crazy. It's disappointing too because we were really looking forward to being able to play some night games. All right. Once again, kick off to Henrietta. Big and deep. Macaluso gets it. Macaluso gets it. Taking it on out. I see some holes. Drug down by number 11, Pickering. Guy that just scored the last touchdown for Kellyville. 25 on the second end for Henrietta. Yeah, unless I just happen to wake up, I never get up that early. Get up that quarter to eight. And we got a night down. Is that Wilson, number 51? 51. No, it's Tate Wisdom. My apologies. Tate Wisdom, number 51, down on the field. Looks like he's getting up. He's getting up. A little hitch in his giddy up there. I think that may have been a hit somewhere. Okay. Ooh, that don't look good having to be helped off. No, oh, yeah. Uh, All right, brings up first down for Henrietta. Game, Good number 50, Lance Gouge going in at right guard. Ball's about the 37-yard uh, line. That's the 10. Right to quarterback. Hands off. <laughs> There's a whole lot of running, but the problem is it's going sideways. Yeah. Need to run him uh, north and south. I'm not sure. Number one. Correction, the game next week and Fred is on Thursday night. Ooh, they play Fred next week. That ought to be. That'll be an interesting one. Of course, remind everyone that I'll have the uh, latest football scores up on the uh, Facebook page for the Henrietta.com. They'll be up later on this evening. There's a pass out. That looked like it was going to go to um, Boyles. Yeah, it looked like it just wasn't quite on the same page there. Boyles settled down, and Jacob thought he was going to go forward a yard or two. Yep. And there was no one around him. Macaluso was doing a good job of keeping the uh, defender away from him. Now we got Macaluso way out on the uh, left side. And he is dropping straight back. Low snap again, that goes to Boyles. Looks like it's a good job by Boyles to get away from the initial tackle. Yep. So he gets it up about the 45 yard line. The one thing I have noticed, Bruce, after flag field third quarter, it's been few and far between so far. So far. And I just threw the jinx on him more than likely. The flags will start flying now. Yeah. Way to go, John. 
uh, you know, I'm just got to do what I got to do. Fourth and about three for the Henrietta Knights. Ball's on the Henrietta 45, and they're going to go for it. And looky there. The long snap count worked. First and ten, Henrietta. So much for them flags, huh? Bill is against the ponies. That's all right. We'll take, uh, I'll let you have that one since it's on them. I threw the hex on them. I'm kind of anxious to come back up here for uh, basketball because I'm looking over at that new gymnasium they've got. They just built that this past year. That's what they were telling me the concession stand earlier. They've made some uh, improvements to the baseball field too since my son played up here. I think we played up here in 2011 was the last time we played up here. That was a crazy game. It was 20, like 26 to 20. Wow. I believe was the final score. We won. <laughs> White goes back, a little screen pass out to Macaluso. That's going to be about four yards worth. Yeah, in fact, I remember that the fence is new because they had a, just an old regular chain link fence. Mm -hmm. Like we got down there, said it wasn't even covered or anything. It was very short, about probably about as high as that fence there on the sidelines, if that high. <laughs> That little pass again, it goes to Boyles, perfectly caught. And he's going to get the first down. There's that little short screen pass right out. pass that was close to being intercepted 10 for number five logan whitlock there number 30 or 32 had his hands right on it though almost got it it's like our ball boys having a hard time keeping up with it <laughs> isn't that andrew yeah that's andrew morris his grandpa rick morris does the stats for us he does a real good job we appreciate rick Oh, Andrew's been kept busy tonight with them footballs coming out every play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves it, though. Ten after the incomplete. Look at that pitch out. Pitch number one. And got about a yard on the play. Zizzum's what he's saying. Brought down by Kelvin 17, Garrett Reed. Bruce, every time he's pronounced number one's name, I think it's a different name. <laughs> I've heard sism, sism, and sism. <laughs> yeah. and since he's not on the roster, I have no clue. As long as they call him in time for supper. Fuck's now down under five minutes here to go in the game. The Knights. Nice Good throw. Guess. Daniel Bear's got some room. Daniel Bear. Good job, good throw, good pass. You run. bet, another first down for Henrietta. I see no flags down. Nice little crossing pattern there. Bear got some room and right we got ten. down to about the nine. Ooh, up the, from the ten. Looks like they're gonna mark it right at the 10. I'll tell you what, if Bear can uh, get the room, he's gone. It'd be nice to finish, get a touchdown here, get something positive out of this drive. Oh, you bet. And we have a flag down. <laughs> See, Bruce, I put the hex on him with the flag comment. Yeah, I noticed that. Two flags for us now. Next time you start to bring it up, I'm going to have to hit you. Yeah. And they're going to mark it off against the uh, ponies. Put it on just inside the five, gonna be a first and goal again for the Knights. About from the four yard line, looks like. Oh, 
Quarterback back to pass. He was going to go to um, Boyles and then. A little miscommunication there. Yeah. Like. I think he thought he was going to go deeper in the end zone and Boyles cut it up short. If he'd have been deeper, he'd have been, he'd have been there. There goes Andrew out there getting another <laughs> football. <laughs> they're, work, they're working that poor boy to death tonight. Oh, yeah. I don't know if his mama is watching tonight. She is Watch high summer. Watch the number 15 for Adriana. Want the pass. Oh. oh First good. bad on the play. And Fumble and Ponies recover. Yeah, they recover. That's two fumbles down deep like that that we've lost tonight. Plus the turnover on downs. So. Five turnovers from my memory serves me right tonight. Mm. And I think there may have been another one on the turnover on downs, so possibly six. We just cannot get a break. Nope. Keep shooting yourselves in the foot with turnovers and penalties. You know, making, making the same mistakes you were making week one, it's hard. I think a lot of it's probably fatigue. I mean, fatigue, weather, yeah. wet. This is the first time they've played in this nasty stuff. I think a lot of it's just fatigue, Bruce. I mean, when you only yeah. got 12 or 13 kids and they're having to play the whole game, they're going to get tired. Oh, yeah, they're going to get tired out. That's Andy Jones on the carry. Maybe gain of about a yard on that play. They keep playing hard though. They don't quit. No, they don't. Three thirty-three left to go in the game. So our coach is gonna put a few subs into the game on defense. Up through. Got him He's going to pick up about uh, five yards on that play, so make it. 63, Kate Davis is now in. You got 13, Dylan Bain in. You got 22, Riley Padgett coming in. 75, Hunter Stewart's in on the defensive line. You notice we've had Jordan Hart out for quite a while. Yeah, Jordan, I don't think he's played since he come off shaking his arm. Could be wrong, but I don't think he has. I don't remember seeing him. Up through the middle, he's got some room. Brought down from behind. Number 77 made the tackle. That's a good tackle by number 22, Riley Padgett. Get number 14. Andy Cam Hawley coming into the game and number 55. Tanner Bullard also into the game for the Knights. Mm -hmm. Colton Wine and Tate Wisdom are coming. Excuse me, Colton Wine and uh, Tyler Wilson are coming out. Colton's had a heck of a night. I don't think Colton's come off the field before not now. No, I don't either. I think he's been staying right on there. Down two minutes go. Jack goes to number nine. Four, and thrown. Good job of number 13, Dylan Bain, to get the tackle there. Got a bunch of freshmen in the game for the Knights right now. Dylan Bain on the stock of the 13. Well, nothing wrong with that with the score the way it is and the time. Every time I hear the name Bain, I think of the Batman villain. <laughs> Spelled differently, but still. All right. Second and about eight. Clock is running. Getting close to a minute to go here. Probably time for two, maybe three more plays. There's the quarterback number 12. There's the pitch out. I actually thought that was a forward pitch. I'm not sure what they're going to call here. Looks like Henrietta recovered the loose ball. They're calling it a loose ball. At least the announcer is. And. Yep, going to be Henrietta's ball. Cool. That's a lucky break for the Knights. 
We're at the minute mark, and we have the turnover. Henry has taken the timeout. Just a reminder, come next Tuesday night, the uh, Henrietta City Council meets. We'll be there live streaming that. Um, Council meetings are boring anymore. Do what? They're boring now without our troublemaker. Down. Yeah, you <laughs> miss out on some things. Uh, Trampas and Sherry Parker are going to be there talking about that uh, vintage motorcycle race that they had a couple weeks ago. That brought in a bunch of people to town. They had about 400 entries. And one of the guys I talked to, one of the racers, was 80 years old. Dang, that's dedication right there. Oh, he loves it. He loves the sport. We'll have Riley Pixler in at quarterback for the Knights here. Got quite a few backups on the field for the Knights. Oh yeah, you can look at all the white, uh, clean jerseys. Pixler hands off. That's Loss two. of about uh, two on that play. Brings up second down. Also maybe one on the play, second down, two left. Uh, Clock running, 30 seconds left in the game. This may be the last play of the game. This could easily be. Of course, we said that a while ago, and yeah. then we wound up spending another 10 minutes. Going back, long pass. Oh, and incomplete. It was. It was. That stops the clock for 20 seconds. Actually, the uh, pony defender um, almost had the ball, and the thing comes right off his face mask, looked like. And almost tipped it right to Logan Whitlock. Yeah. That would have been an interesting touchdown. It had been yeah. close to a touchdown. I don't know if he was in the end zone. Down and 10. All right. Quarterback keeps the ball. And he shakes the tackle. They're pulling him way back, though. And that's going to be the last play of the game. We are running out of time. Listen, everyone, thanks for watching. Henry at a 7. Kellyville Ponies 41. Be sure to join us next Thursday night. Thursday night, Henrietta. John, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me, Bruce. I'm glad to make it tonight. And we'll see you next week.